Good afternoon. Today our guest is Vasily Nikolaevich. If you follow us, you probably know that we invest in the production of synthetic diamonds. And the representative of the company is now in our office. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the Synthetic Diamonds project? Yeah, sure. Vasily, tell us, why did your company choose to produce synthetic diamonds and what influenced this choice? Let's see, what do we have now? Synthetic diamonds account for 97% of the market of industrial diamonds. Diamonds can be cut and polished to become brilliant. A diamond is a cutting tool in medicine. A diamond is an ideal lens for a microscope, laser industry, X-ray systems. A diamond is a cutting tool for metalworking, drilling, for the oil industry, for the gas industry. And finally, a diamond is a very good way to get a high-quality jewelry which will melt the heart of your girlfriend. Tell me, please, I know that there are similar companies that also produce synthetic diamonds. How are you going to surprise the world and those companies that are engaged in the same business? I mean, what are your advantages? Firstly, what do we have? Technology does not stand still. What we plan to launch in the market is the next generation of equipment at the moment. We use the chemical composition of our own development, which will allow us to modify the light, the color of a diamond, create diamond jewelry of bigger size. Cut it with much higher number of facets compared to similar synthetic products. From the chemical and technical points of view, we create a perfection. It is absolutely perfect. Do you mean that together we will create the perfect diamond? Yes, the perfect diamond. Because that is the difference between it and a natural diamond. The next question. What distinguishes synthetically grown diamonds from natural diamonds except perfection? Is there something else? Yes, of course. Look, it takes nature millions of years to create a diamond. Heat, pressure and millions of years. Those diamonds that you wear as jewelry, that women and wives use as ornaments, they are very small pieces of a big history. It takes about three days as well as high temperature and pressure to make a synthetic diamond. But due to the fact that a diamond is created in the laboratory, it is perfect. It does not contain inclusions. Cracks, debris, it has perfect transparency. It has an ideal structure, it has an ideal surface. Today, the price per carat of a natural diamond varies from 5 to 15,000. Let's take $10,000. If you want to create a perfect diamond, what would be its price then? It would be lower. Why? Look, what should be done and what work should be performed in order to get one carat of a natural diamond? We need to process tons of rocks that have been brought on a truck have been digged by an excavator in a quarry. Or these can be diamonds that are mined in Sierra Leone, 
in Africa, where all sorts of crime occur. These are the infamous blood diamonds. It is inhumane. It is not environmentally friendly. What is the real value of this carrot? And what is the price of a carrot designed in a clean lab, where people work in white coats, white gloves, where there is no mined rock, bowels of the earth are not excavated, and everything is conducted under ideal conditions? Thank you for the answer. Do I understand you correctly? Your task is not only to earn money on this technology, but also to reduce different negative impacts that occur during the production of these diamonds. It is a humane project. Yes, I fully agree with you. This production, synthetic diamond production, is much more humane compared to the natural production in one form or another. You know, there is green peas. They react negatively when women wear fur coats, and they do it to keep warm. And here, there are certain people who have a negative attitude to the fact that people use diamonds because they understand how they were produced. Here, we move away from those companies that earn a lot of money in this business while negatively affecting other people. Your mission here is noble. We create a favorable competition. We are a very beneficial competitor. This is very important. I have the following question. What is the market potential? What potential of this market can you see today? I understand that it can grow, but what is it right now? Look, at the moment, the mining industry does not stand still, capacity grows. If we compare, for example, what was 10 years ago, what rate of extraction was back then, and what rate of production we have now, the rate increases. The rate increases, wear and tear increases too, i.e. consumables lose their strength and need to be replaced. We produce those materials. Next, the medical industry, the medical field. We can see that the abilities, skills, professionalism of doctors are increasing in the medical field. Some time ago, the organ transplantation was almost impossible, but today it is quite a natural process. Further, microsurgery is developing very rapidly. If we deliver high-precision tools, high-precision scalpels, high-precision lenses for lasers, these industries will grow faster and become more advanced. We considerably advance science in this field. Next, aerospace industry, diamonds and diamond lenses. They are able to perform in very hostile environments, and this aggressive environment does not affect the diamond in any way. It is very resistant to external influences, so we can supply and use it in such situations, in which any other materials wear out and require replacement very quickly. I also believe that diamonds can be used for drills. Diamond coating is applied here, too. Oh, and here's more. Here we have such an opportunity as the development of the computer industry, development of microchips on a diamond substrate. Placing microchips on a diamond substrate, it seems to be the future of computer technology. Because a diamond substrate has a higher thermal conductivity and therefore it works more effectively compared to existing microprocessors. Microprocessors double their performance every 24 months. This industry has a very high potential. 
I think our guys from IT will appreciate new processors, which will be produced on these diamond substrates. Well, Vasily, I have no more questions. If our viewers, our partners have questions, please write them in comments. I will be glad to meet you again in a more extended format and maybe answer some questions from our partners. Good, thank you.